We are live, GG girl. What's going on, everybody? How is everybody feeling on this freaky, freaky Friday? Friday. Hope you guys are having a good Friday so far. We're experiencing some uh, rain here in New York. Other than that, we're doing well. What's going on? Mrs. Mercer is in the building. Curtis is in the house. Welcome, Curtis. Who else is in the building? We have an auction for tonight. But there is some good news, guys, because my branch, my local branch, has reopened, which means I can now obtain half dollars, which means this upcoming Tuesday, the Soccer Plot the Jackpot coin roll hunt will return. That's at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And I am very, very excited and looking forward to that as well. I have been having some withdrawals as far as hunting half dollars are concerned. What's going on, Alistair? Alistair says, let me clear my throat. AG Surfers in the building. D-Dub is in the house. Make sure you smash that like button. Let's get more people in here because we want to turn it into a freaky, freaky Friday night party. What's going on, Brad? Mama Pilatus in the building, everybody. Hey, Mom. We went over to Mama Pilatus' house yesterday and had some delicious ribs. It was great to see you, Mom. And uh, we have Julie in the building. What's going on, Julie? Thank you for joining me. Rosa is in the house, the queen of the auction from this past Tuesday. Thank you for rejoining us, Rosa. Good to see you. Michael M is in the house and he's already talking about drinking. I'm drinking, but I'm drinking ginger ale. I'm not sp sponsored by Canada Dry, but Canada Dry, if you would like to cut me a check, I will not stop you. SMAC is in the building. What's going on, SMAC? Good to see you. Hope you guys are doing well. We have 20 items on the auction menu for tonight. If you would like to check out what we have in store for you today. You can uh, check the description of this video. Uh, I have the link, but if the link is giving you trouble, I also listed all 20 items in the description as well. NC, what's going on, NC? NC, did you reach your goal? I think NC had a, uh, was it a 500 subscriber giveaway recently? Well, if you haven't already reached that goal, we need to get NC to his goal. Now, if you have reached the goal, then congratulations. That is awesome. Michael M says, what? I want ribs too. Exams are over. I'm drinking. I don't blame you, Michael M. You enjoy yourself. Everybody, get some snacks, get a drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We have some nice coinage to show you guys, including gold, silver, and for the first time on my auction, we will have platinum on the stream. All right, so NC uh, still needs some help and support to get to his goal. So, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to NCFXSTI, make sure you go over to his channel and subscribe. Let's help each other. We grow together and we glow together. What's going on, Silverfish? Silverfish is in the building. Will Hornbuckle's in the house. Good to see you guys. And uh, guys, we will be giving away soccer spins for the end of stream giveaway. So if you like constitutional silver, we're giving away five soccer spins. And uh, we will also use the jackpot format as far as entries are concerned. Every auction winner will receive an entry, but we will also play games in stream games for a chance to win and a chance to enter as well. So I appreciate you guys being here. Other than having uh, the uh, good news of knowing that my branch reopened, we also received a special package from CHC. So let's open this up really quick. I wanted to do it on air. And uh, it says, Mrs. Sakaplata and Gigi. So this isn't even mine, guys. This is for the Mrs. So I'm not going to open up their items. But I am going to pull it out to see what we have here. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. So it says, 
Mrs. Saka Plata. So, Mrs. Plata's in the building, everybody. Hi, everyone. Guys, that is a Morgan dollar. That is a Morgan dollar for Mrs. Plata. Busy's in the building. U.S. Silver Stackers in the house. And Gigi has her magnet to verify its authenticity. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure this is authentic. It was from CHC. Thank you. And this is from for Gigi a Canadian dollar, and it says from a mystery donator. So the mystery donator for Mrs. Plata. Thank you. And for Gigi. Thank you, anonymous donator. That's right. Thank and you. We really appreciate it. That's awesome. And Mrs. Plata, that's actually Mrs. Plata's first Morgan dollar. So it looks yeah. like Mrs. Plata is going to be starting a coin collection as well. It says, Mrs. Plata and Gigi, thank you for being a part of our chat live streams and for supporting our channel. Hope you're staying safe and health, uh, safe, healthy, and happy. CHC. So there you have it. Very cool channel. If you haven't checked it out, what are you, living under a rock? And finally, I get some channel stickers. I'm taking one of each. Sorry, guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. All right, what's going on? Gigi's got a murky murk. And I got another silver. Oh, you have some constitutional silver there. I got 90% of M2 and AOC. Nice. Very nice. What did you get, Mrs. Plata? Steve Rice is in the building. What's going on, Cam? Rebel Randy's in the house. It looks like we are uh, starting to develop some gamesmanship here in the chat. I am loving the rivalries. What's going on, Scott Jarvie? Good to see you. All right, so uh, CHC and Mystery Donator, thank you so much for that. We really appreciate it. Oh, there's more stickers in here. Check that out. So shout out to CHC and the mystery uh, donator. Really appreciate that. That was a very kind gesture. And uh, that's a Morgan dollar, Mrs. Plata. First one. Well, we'll, uh, we'll have to play a game of Uno <laughs> to see if I can win that. No. <laughs> no, nope, it is Mrs. Plata's. All right, it's good to be here, guys. I, I was looking forward to seeing you again. So thank you guys so much for being here. What's going on, Gold Miner? Mercer's in the building. How's it going, Mercer? I'm glad the power's up and running. Good to see you. And guys, we have 20 items. And uh, let's see, we have gold, platinum, silver as well. But the soccer plot, the jackpot will return this Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So you guys are uh, more than welcome to donate for rolls. I do have the boxes in my possession, but I did not want to cancel the already scheduled uh, auction for tonight. So without further ado, once again, we will be playing games throughout the stream. And uh, we will be giving away five separate soccer spins. And we will be using the jackpot format. So for those that are new, it is uh, $5 for five ounces or less as far as shipping is concerned, uh, $8 for six ounces or more, and that comes with tracking and insurance, of course. And we will be doing $1 intervals, but you're welcome to bid at your discretion. And if, you, if it's your first time bidding tonight, on the channel or donating or anything like that if i do not have your paypal information we would need to uh one dollar verification payment just to confirm that you have a paypal account and that you are of age what's going on rhonda rhonda's in the building good to see you rhonda rhonda says i'm new no you're not rhonda i i've seen you here before it has been quite some time but welcome to the stream and we have chris Roman. he's counting he's waiting He's like, can we get to item number one? <laughs> All right. Well, guys, we're going to get this auction started. Uh, but I think it's a good way to start is to start with a game here. We have 30 people in the chat. So we're going to start with a game for the first jackpot entry of the night. And let's yeah. enter something into the chat. 
Gigi's having a virtual play date right now with her friends. So she'll be in and out of the stream. But, uh, you know, I, I think it's very cool that she's still able to interact with her friends despite school being closed and whatnot. So, all right. Keep your eye on the chat. And I will enter it. Here we go. What's going on, Hidden? Gold Miner says local pawn shop has 1884 and 1882 CC Morgans for 195. Well, if you can verify their authenticity, then I would jump on it as soon as possible, Gold Miner. That is that sounds like a very, very good deal. And you'll be surprised, guys. You can find some killer deals in pawn shops as long as you take the uh, necessary uh, measurements to, to uh, assure that you're getting something that's authentic. All right, here we go, guys. Game time. Finish the sentence. Handful of clad. First person to guess correctly will win the first entry of the Soccer Plata Jackpot for tonight's auction. Finish the sentence. Boom! There we have it. We have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And that was a close one. Let's take a picture to confirm. All right. We have a winner, so you can stop in the name of love. And that is the that is right. That's accurate. Michael M says that's the 12,372nd catchphrase. And you're absolutely right. What's going on, George Kimmel? Good to see you, George. And we have Coin Silver. Randy's in the building. Thank you for joining me, guys. <laughs> Chris Broman said is normal, especially in this side of town. Absolutely. <laughs> And it's more likely as well. What's going on, Silver Sax? All right. Finish the sentence. Handful of clad. Oh, so sad. The correct answer and the winner is Michael M. Michael M., congratulations. You will receive jackpot entry number 30. So there you have it, Michael M. And uh, just to pull up. We're going to pull up the uh, picture just to confirm, just to have some transparency here. And there you see it. Alice says, makes me sad. And it does make me sad as well. But the phrase that actually was written down was, oh, so sad. Michael M., congratulations. And, uh, yeah, so you will get jackpot entry number 30. What's going on? Brad Burge is in the building. Dennis Stewart is in the house. Good to see you, Dennis. You know, there was a few people that I missed uh, as far as making sure they got an entry on my flash giveaway for the American Silver Eagle. And Dennis Stewart, uh, Mel's Coin Corner, uh, Amber Moore, just to name a few that I – instantly remembered after the stream of course so although it's hard to uh it's hard to on the fly keep keep in mind of everybody that's been so helpful and supportive uh i did remember after the fact but i apologize we will have more flash auctions or uh, flash giveaways in the future what's going on holly webb holly webb's in the building it is freaky freaky friday night guys i am fired up and wired up we're gonna get this auction started we'll be playing some more games throughout the uh the uh stream if you haven't already done so please smash that like button so we can get more people in here and turn this into another epic night if you missed this past tuesday you missed one of the most exciting auctions to date and we're looking to uh see if we can top that tonight all right ag surfer says how could you forget the lovely amber moore i know ag surfer you know i felt horrible uh i knew it would happen i knew there was going to be a few names that i i did forget to enter and uh you know what could i say i apologize there will be more times to get them involved as well 
All right, guys, as I said, the end of stream giveaway tonight, we are giving away five soccer spins. And if you go, if you guys are new, it's basically a wheel and uh, you have a chance to earn either Benji or Walker. You can also earn two silver quarters, 40 percenters, et cetera. So we will give five lucky winners a chance to take home either a Benji or a Walker. All right, guys, I think I did enough talking. You can tell me to shut up or just put a one in the chat so we can get this auction started. <laughs> Mrs. Plata said, shush, from like two rooms down. I don't know if you picked that up. All right. It, I am on that level. Thank you, Gigi. Gigi's playing uh, Roblox with, uh, is it Roblox? Yeah. Roblox yeah. with her friends. What's going on, Peter? Peter's in the building. Good to see you, Peter. How are you doing? Hope you are safe and healthy. All right, guys. Looks like we're ready. All right. So we have 20 items on the list. We will start with the appetizers and work our way into the entrees, but save room for dessert. The first item will be a 1941, one shilling from the United Kingdom. This is 50% silver, and it has some nice toning on it as well. Starting bid here is $1. The coin's weight is 5.6 grams of 50% silver. And starting bid is $1 for the 1941. We have Holly at one. Holly at one, looking for two, two. Do we have two? And we have Dizzy at three, just edging out AG. Dennis Stewart at four. Some modest toning here. And some good details on it. We have Holly at six, Dennis at seven. Dennis at seven, looking for eight, eight. Do we have eight? And the cats are feisty outside, Mercer. I'm not sure if you hear the cats going to war outside my window. I have nothing to do with what's going on out there, but that scares me. We have Dennis at seven going once. Going twice now. This is a 1941, one shilling from the United Kingdom, 50% silver. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper alert, sniper alert. Cover your ears, Mrs. Plop. <laughs> Scott <laughs> Jarvie at seven and a half. We have Scott at seven and a half. We're looking for eight now. Sniper alert. What's going on, Breeze? Breeze, we need to open the window over here because it is hot. It is hot next to the fluorescent lighting. And we have Dennis at eight. Eight looking for nine. How's it going, Breeze? Hope all is well. Dennis at eight looking for nine. Going once, going twice now. We have Will sniping it at nine. We have Will at nine, looking for 10. Rosa says those are beautiful, especially uncirculated. And that's that's the next goal, Rosa, is to get a nice shiny slabbed uh, shilling to add to my collection. I've seen some 63s that uh, are fairly priced. And we have Dennis at nine and a half. We have Dennis at nine and a half. Looking for 10, 10. Do we have 10? Um, no, I didn't get it. I didn't Going get it. once. Going so twice now. We have Dennis at nine and a half, looking for 10. All in, all out, last call, and so to Dennis for nine and a half. Congratulations, Dennis. You will receive jackpot entry number one. Once again, we are giving away five soccer spins at the end of stream for the end of stream giveaway and we'll be using the soccer block, the jackpot format. Uh, 
we will have in-stream games as well for jackpot entry. So congratulations to Dennis, the first winner of the night. As far as auction winners are concerned, we had Michael M win a game to open the stream. And Dennis, you will get entry number one. And let's put this in your wallet. All right. Paul Hampton's in the building. What's going on, Paul? How's your Friday going so far? All right, we're going to get right into item number two. And Aaron is in the building. What's going on, Aaron? Hope all is well, brother. Thank you for joining me. Addicted to Stacks is in the building. Addicted says, who is the thumbs down bandit always on your stream? Well, you know, there's always has to be one. But I've gotten two, three, four uh, on occasion. So they are welcome to uh, hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down at their discretion uh, either way, uh, whether it's a thumbs up or thumbs down, at least they took the time to react. All right. So let's see here. We are going to move on to item number two. And this is a dateless Buffalo nickel lot. There are 10 coins. There are 10 Buffalo nickels. Now, some are partial dates. So you may actually be able to pick up a date on a couple of these, but I did not want to include the fact that they were partial date so most of them are dateless bargain bins but some you can actually pick up the date so we're going to start the bidding here at one dollar for the 10 dateless buffaloes and yes uh i actually now that i have a new uh coin shop that i know is open not so much new, but uh, now that I know that they're one of the few that are open in my neighborhood, I can dig in the bargain bin, and I actually want to do a video nickel uh, nickel dating a couple of these uh, dateless buffaloes. So now that I know I can get a whole bunch more at a wholesale price, uh, I think that would be a fun thing to do. I've seen uh, I've seen it done several times before, but I've never done it myself. I know it does damage the coin, so uh, you can't really s send it in for grading or anything. Not not that you would want to send one in G condition in, but if it's a uh, a key date, then then you may want to fill a slot. In order to do that, you have to find the date somehow. So, and we have Curtis at ten, and so that's the condition that we're seeing here now i did find a couple of uh type ones in that same lot so the possibility is there that you may have that however i do not believe any of these are type one but either way we have curtis at 10 for the 10 dateless buffalo nickels buffalo going once going twice now we have curtis at 10 looking for 11 for the dateless buffalo nickel 10 coin lot all in all out last call and so to curtis carnage oh and dennis just a tad bit late, Dennis. Let's take a picture just uh, to show you that instant replay as I put the soul button there and Dennis just missed it. All right. TG, what's going on, TG? All right, there we have it. So congratulations to Curtis. And you will get jackpot entry number two. Rosa said, where am I? I thought this was an auction. Yeah, we ease our way in a little bit, Rosa. We start with the appetizers, uh, some $1 items. We actually have seven, uh, eight $1 items today. But it will escalate as well towards the entree portion. So there you have it, Curtis. 
the 10 Buffalo nickels are yours. Congratulations. Yeah, that was a bang, bang play, Randy. That's why I show the screenshot, just for transparency purposes. Um, it does happen from time to time on the stream where they won't get that bid in. But uh, all right, Curtis. Congratulations. We're going to move on to item number three. Item number three is a BU 1965 Canadian silver quarter encapsulated. <laughs> uh, Rosa, I am asking for you to enjoy yourself. You, you be yourself, Rosa. I wouldn't ask you to be any other way. All right, so... We have the BU 1965 Canadian Silver Quarter encapsulated. Starting bid here is $1. It's in nice shape. We have Addicted to Stacks at 1. Shout out to Michael M. who picked up a very impressive lap of uh, some Canadian currency. And... Uh, you never know. Sometimes you find some great deals out there. All you have to do is look. And we have Dennis at eight. Dennis at eight looking for nine, nine. Do we have nine? And I was uh, referring to the value of the items, Rosa. We start with appetizers, $1 items, work our way up. And uh, kind of like a menu, you know, you, you just want a little bite before you get to the... Uh, much more appetizing things. And we have Dennis at 10 and a half. 10 and a half going once. Going twice now. This is a BU 1965 Canadian Silver Quarter. We have Dennis at 10 and a half. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Dennis. There you have it. Dennis at ten and a half. Congratulations. Dennis, that is your second win of the night. You will get jackpot entry number three. And uh, we will be giving away five soccer spins at the end of the stream. And uh, the highest possible outcome would be a Benji or a Walker, depending on your uh, perspective. I believe the Walkers are uh, have more num numismatic value, of course, depending on the date as well. Congratulations, Dennis. We'll add this to your wallet. All right. All right, here we go. So I think it's time for another game, shall we? Let's keep it simple. A, a shape. Go. A shape. First person to guess the shape correctly will get an entry. That's right, guys. If you see something you like and you're interested, by all means, go for it. All right, let's see who's going to win. Who's going to guess correctly here? I'm anticipating the matrix of, wet, of uh, shapes here. I'm not seeing it yet. Oh, you're getting closer. Very, very close. We have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We have a winner. And we have confirmation. We have a winner. Stop in the name of love. We have a winner. And that winner is 
Aaron, a Pentagon. Congratulations to Aaron. You guessed correctly. You will get jackpot entry number 29. So congratulations, Aaron. And it's in there. All right. So let's move on, shall we? We are going to move on to item number four. Item number four here is a Ronald Reagan 24 karat gold electroplated presidential medal. It is in the original envelope. The stamping here is the 18 cent US stamp and the California 1950. We have AEG Surfer starting us at five. Julie at seven. Julie at seven. Looking for eight, eight. Do we have eight? Let's take a look at that medal there. Ronald Reagan. We have Julie at 12. 12. Looking for 13, 13. Do we have 13? And the original mint envelope. And here it says, Special Collector's Edition of Official U.S. Mint. We have Julie at 15, Holly at 18. Holly at 18, looking for 19, 19. Do we have 19? AG Surfer at 20, just edging out Julie. Yeah, I like the stamps, too. I used to collect stamps when I was younger. I had a uh, stamp book. But when you get those collector books, they have the... Uh, the void line going across the stamps. So the original stamps are always cool. We have Julie at 25. Julie at 25. Looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? Going once. Going twice now. Julie at 25. Looking for 26. All in, all out, last call, and so to Julie Greathouse. Congratulations, Julie. That's $25 for the Ronald Reagan Presidential Medal. All right, let's get you down here, Julie. Julie G. And you will also get entry number four in the Saka Plata jackpot, which we will have five end of stream giveaways, uh, five Saka spins. And there you have it. All right, Julie, let's label this and put it off to the side. That way, we do not damage the envelope. Nice little piece of history heading your way. All right. All right, guys, let's move it along here. We have a low mintage alert. Low mintage alert. Uh, unfortunately, it is handful of clad, oh so sad. But this is a 1976 50 cents Jamaica the cardinal clad proof and they are referring to the shape of the coin here and i'm actually going to take it out of the flip with great care and caution as so that we can get a close-up the mintage here is 24 dollars uh, i'm sorry 24,000 mintage is 24 dollars mintage is 24 thousand on planet earth but it is clad guys you are bidding on a clad coin and we have hidden at eight ag surfer at 10 10 looking for 11 11 we have 11 vintage of twenty four thousand. a lot of these caribbean islands and countries uh tend to have low mintage proofs but it doesn't mean that they are in abundance, it's still low mintage. 
and we have Dennis at 12. Yeah, so the actual shape, I looked it up, it's the cogonal, which I believe means uh, 10 sides. So this is the first one I've seen up, up close. We have Randy at 15. Randy at 15. Look over 16, 16. We have 16. Very cool coin in very nice shape, as you can see, guys. That's why I wanted to take it out of the flip so you can see nice and clearly that this coin is in beautiful shape. We have Randy at 15 going once. Going twice now. We have Randy at 15, looking for 16 for the 1976 50 cents Jamaica clad proof. All in. All out. Sniper alert, sniper alert, but for cover. AG sniper here. AG surfer at 16, silver fish at 17. What's going on, Rockin' Roots? Sorry, I didn't see you earlier. Welcome, Rockin' Roots. Hope all is well. Mountains in the building. What's going on, brother? Good to see you. And I use the word gentleman loosely, as you should, Mountain. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good Friday so far. Silverfish at 17. Going once. This is a clad proof with a mintage of 24,000. Going twice now 50 cents jamaica silver fish at 17 looking for 18 all in all out last call and sniper alert ag surfer with the snipe perfectly timed i'm going to have to erase what I was writing because I was about to proclaim Silverfish the winner, but AG Surfer at 18 for this clap proof with a mintage of 24,000. Amber Moore is in the building, everybody. Good to see you, Amber. Hope all is well. How's Kiki doing? Gigi's having a play date with her friends, virtual style. We have AG Surfer going once. Going twice now. This is a 1976 50 cents Jamaica decagonal clad proof. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to ag surfer for 18 dollars congratulations ag surfer not only did you win a very cool low mintage clad proof coin you will also receive jackpot entry number five so there you have it very cool coin 10-sided the cogonal first person to put the cogonal in the chat correctly will win a jackpot entry the cogonal the spelling must be correct let's see here the cogonal the cogonal the cogonal there it is we have the correct spelling we have it the winner is Brad Burge, Brad Burge, quick on the draw. Congratulations, Brad Burge. Once again, you have found a way to get into the soccer block, the jackpot. And by the way, thanks for the uh, mail call the other day. I appreciate that. Shout out to uh, Rockin' Roots and AB Silver. If you guys haven't checked out that video, uh, uh, Brad does a great job singing your praises, Rock and Roots and AB Silvers. So uh, be sure to check that out. All right, Brad, you will get entry number 28. All right. And we have to get AG Surfer entry number five. All right. There you have it. What's going on, Jimmy? Jimmy's in the building. Big Jimmy's in the house. 
All right, guys. Here we go. We're going to keep it going. We're now through the appetizer portion of the menu. So I hope you guys got a little bite to eat. But for now, we're going to step things up a bit, but not too much. We're going to start with a 1914 Barber Dime. 1914 Barber Dime. It's in G condition. So uh, it is circulated. Starting bid is $1 for the Barber Dime. And then we will move into another foreign coin as well. We have Holly at five, hidden at six, six, looking for seven, seven, seven. We have seven for the 1914 Barber Dime. Dennis at seven, just edging out Holly. S. Max says, my favorite movie as a kid. I think my favorite movie of all time might be The Matrix. I've said this before, but I think it was such a great movie. I mean, there, there are a lot of great movies on my top 10 list. Probably more than I can fit in the top 10 list, but Matrix is definitely in the top 10. We have Holly at 10. Going once. Going twice now. This is a 1914 Barber Dime. Holly at 10, looking for 11. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Holly Webb. Congratulations, Holly. You made easy and quick work with that one. That is uh, $10 for Holly Webb. And Holly, you will also receive jackpot entry number six. How can we tell a six from a nine? Oh, Aaron, I won on Mickey Rob's Banks. <laughs> well, tell them to give it away, give it away, give it away now. So there you have it, entry number six. Thanks for the heads up, Aaron. I'm about to pop in there on my phone. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. So AG Surfer, we, we added the uh, the Cogano to your wallet. And now we will add the Barbara Dime to Holly Webb's wallet. So let's pull up Holly Webb's wallet here. All right, Holly, and it is in there. By the way, Holly, you have a nice slabbed Venezuela. That is a very nice Venezuelan coin. MS64. What's going on, Wesley? Wesley Kester's in the building. Good to see you, Wesley. Hope you're doing all right. All right, let's put this back here. And guys, for those just joining me, I've got some good news. The, the branch in my area has reopened, and I was able to obtain four boxes of half dollars. So we will be having the Soccer Plot the Jackpot coin roll hunt this Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. That's right. The Soccer Plot the Jackpot returns this coming Tuesday. And I'm very eager and excited to finally get my hands on some half dollars because my hope is that uh, a lot of silver is in those roles, uh, being that not many people have been having access. So we will find out this coming Tuesday. All right. So let's move on to item number seven. We have another low mintage alert, low mintage alert. This is a 1972 half Balboa. Panama, 40% silver. Mintage is 13,000 on planet Earth. And the weight is 11.5 grams. Starting bid here is $1 for the Medio Balboa. What's going on, Rosebud? 
Rosebud says, I have to go. Please give my stash to Paul Hampton. You mean your whole wallet? Awfully nice of you. Just confirm, Rosebud. We have Aaron at 10, hidden at 12. So this has a mintage of 13,000. Medio Balboa. That is awesome of you, Rosebud. If you can just have that, have me uh, send me an email just to confirm. That way uh, I have reference so that I'm reminded. That is awfully generous of you. So, Rosebud, your wallet will be transferred over to Paul Hampton. But just in case I forget to do that after the stream, if you can just email me at soccerfloppany at gmail.com. That way I can have that on file. Thank you, uh, Rosebud. I appreciate that. We have Holly at 14 going once. This is 40% silver, Rosa. So the half Balboa is 40% silver. The uh, the Balboa, the big boy, so to speak, is 90% silver. 1972. Rosa's making me second guess myself here. Let's check the edges. Yeah, that looks silver there. Is is it cloud hidden? Because I, I what I pulled up on the NGC website. Now, if this was a mistake of mine, I definitely will give you guys the option to retract your bids. Yeah, the the uh, the Balboas, those are amongst my favorite designs. So here's what we're going to do. To err on the side of caution, to err on the side of caution, because I was, I have the uh, proof set envelope here, but to avoid looking for that, we're going to, Assume this is clad. So if you guys would like me to crack it open, I can take it out of the flip. We can take a look at the brim. Silver nitrate would know. Silver nitrate, I believe Rose and Hidden may be correct in uh, correcting me and saying that this is clad and not 40%. It was my understanding that this was 40%. I have Balboa. From 1972. And guys, if I am incorrect, I will be the first to admit it. So hitting the same clad. All right, let's see here. All right, the big boy is 90%. All right, so that is my mistake. Hidden, thank you for the correction. Rosa, thank you so much for that. I apologize. So, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this away for free as a mistake, as a, to make up for the mistake. So this will be a freebie for someone in the chat right now, and I will replace this with a silver Balboa. So we're going to give this away for free, and then we're going to replace item number seven with a silver Balboa. And thank you so much for that, guys. I really apologize for the misinformation there. Yeah, see, this one is silver. This is the big boy. And it does say 90% here as well. Now, it is in a capsule that is not fitted to the actual size. So this is 90% silver. D-Dub says too much ginger ale. No, I, I definitely would rather be corrected and admittedly uh, be incorrect in, in the information that I provide. 
sack of pasta. I love pasta. I don't mind. That. I don't mind that at all. I, I actually been craving some lasagna now that you mention it. And uh, so this is a Balboa, 90% silver. We are going to auction this off. We will be giving this Balboa away. What's going on? AB Silver's in the building. Dimes. So this is a Balboa, 1972. Starting bid will be $1. $1 starting bid for the 1972 Balboa from Panama. Mintage of under 14,000. And we have Paul at 10. Paul at 10, looking for 11. Now, I will give you guys the option if you want it in the uh, in the capsule, that is completely up to you. Just keep in mind, it is not fitted to the actual coin. I just didn't have a flip to put it in, but I can always take it out and put it in a plastic flip. I wanted to just have it in a cardboard flip, but the winner will have the option whether to leave it in this capsule. It does slightly move uh, if you feel more comfortable securing it in a plastic flip. I can definitely do that. Face reveal, face reveal. I shaved today, guys. Not not much though. Apparently, we have hidden at thirty. Hidden at thirty. It is a battle royal. Silver Balls is in the building. What's going on, Silver Balls? And by the way, the mintage here is under 14000 for this 1972 Silver Balboa. And we have hidden at 35 Looking for 36 36 Do we have 36 Rockzilla is in the building. See, Rockzilla says, Coinoscope says 1966 to 72 is 40%. And, you know, that's probably where I got that information from. So uh, apparently not. I am I have no problem admitting when I made a mistake. And uh, we have AG Surfer at 36. AG Surfer at 36. Looking for 37, 37. Do we have 37? Let's take a look at the reverse here. It is in immaculate shape, guys. <laughs> we have silver balls at 37. Silver balls at 37. Look for 38, 38. We have 38. Mercer says, oh, no, we got Santa sock throughout the claws. I am growing the facial hair in. Aaron says, oops, I meant 37. Okay, let's bump it to 40. We have Aaron at 40. Looking for 41. Do we have 41 for the low mintage uh, 1972 Balboa from Panama? Aaron at 40. Face reveal. Face reveal. Did you catch my ball head? Going once and silver balls comes back at 41 back and forth they go back and forth they go we have a head-to-head -head battle silver balls versus aaron silver balls at 41 looking for 42 42 do we have 42 what's going on jeff silversmith thank you so much i'm glad you're enjoying yourself on this freaky freaky friday night we are on item number seven of the entree portion of the stream but I hope you guys saved some for dessert because we will have gold, silver, and platinum in the auction at a later time. And we have silver balls at 41 going once. Going twice now. We have silver balls at 41 looking for 42 for the 1972 Balboa Panama. 13,000 minted on planet Earth. Oh, sniper alert, sniper alert, AG Surfer with another perfectly timed snipe. AG Surfer at 42, looking for 43. Silver balls at 43, looking for 44. Do we have 44? Back and forth they go, back and forth they go. This is a Balboa from Panama, 1972. Yeah, Balboas are amongst my favorite. They may be my favorite foreign design. 
but I love me the SLQ design and the peace dollar design on US currency for sure. And silver balls at 45. They are going to battle, my friends. Sit back, relax, grab the popcorn and a cold one, water, coffee, or any other beverage that you prefer. And we have silver balls at 45 going once. Going twice now. 1972 Balboa Panama. Silver balls at 45, looking for 46. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to silver balls for $45. Congratulations, silver balls. What a battle that was. That was the battle of the night so far. Congratulations, silver balls. You will receive jackpot entry number seven. And we will have the end of stream giveaway. That is jackpot entry number seven. The end of stream giveaway will be five separate soccer spins for potentially five different winners. And let's see here. All right. So silver balls. Uh, now, this capsule is not fitted to the coins. So you have the option. We can keep it in the capsule or... If you are concerned about the movement of this coin, we can transfer it into a plastic flip. So you let me know. As you can see, it does move slightly. So you let me know, uh, Silver Balls, if you would like me to secure that in a plastic flip or you feel comfortable enough having it in the capsule. All right, silver balls. Let's uh, add that to your wallet. Hidden <laughs> says, all right, I won't show. All right, sounds good, silver balls. Just wanted to double check. So we're going to give this Balboa away. This is a clad-proof Balboa, medio Balboa, half Balboa. And we are going to give it away. Let's play a game. We're going to give it a, away along with the next jackpot entry. So here we go. A U.S. state. Go. A U.S. state. The person to guess the state correctly will win the Balboa and an entry into the soccer block, the jackpot. What's going on, Rita? All right, let's see here. The eagle eye needs to be fully focused and locked on the screen here. Good guess, Silver Nitrate. That's close, almost. <laughs> I'm not seeing it yet. Let's keep an eye. Here they come. Here they come. I'm focused. I can see it. I can still see. Now we have a winner. We have a winner. And I sniped that one, guys. Stop in the name of love. Before you break my live chat, we have a winner, everyone. And that winner's name, after I confirm and verify that they did indeed win, is addicted to stacks iowa iowa that's the correct answer so addicted to stacks congratulations you just won the balboa and a jackpot entry you will receive jackpot entry number 27 congratulations addicted so jackpot entry will go in the box it's in there and addicted to stacks Congratulations, you won the clad, bal the clad half Balboa. All right. And Silver Nitrate was very close. He said Britain. So he almost got it, but not quite. So there you have it, addicted to stacks. 
Medio Balboa. And once again, I apologize for the blunder earlier. Shout out to uh, Rosa and Hidden for, uh, for the correction on that. Oh, Jeff lives in Panama, huh? Very cool, Jeff. I wonder if you can get some Balboas, some silver Balboas in the banks over out there. All right, guys, let's move on. We're going to move on to item number eight. Item number eight is a Proof 69 Deep Cam Clad Proof Eisenhower Dollar. Starting bid is $1. $1 starting bid for the PCGS graded 1977S Clad Proof Eisenhower. We have addicted to stacks at three. Three looking for four, four. Do we have four? Oh, uh, D-Dub, my wife and I are currently watching that. We've been watching that for the past few days, and I must say it is incredible. That's a good recommendation, D-Dub. Actually, after the auction, Mrs. Blop and I have a date night to finish watching uh, Waco, and she's patiently waiting for a track to explode on. All right, we have addicted to stacks at 12, just edging out George Kimmel. Breeze at 13. Breeze at 13. Looking for 14. 14. Do we have 14? Oh, Jeff lives in Iowa. <laughs> I thought you meant Panama, Jeff. <laughs> All right, so we have a 1977. Leave it to me to think of the uh, long distance location, not a state in the United States. I apologize for that, Jeff. We have addicted to sacks at 14, 14, looking for 15. Addicted at 14, looking for 15 for the clad proof Eisenhower. Going once. Going twice now. We have addicted to stacks at 14, looking for 15. For the Proof 69 Deep Cam 1977S Clad Proof Eisenhower Dollar. All in. All that sniper alert, double sniper alert, duck for cover from the grassy knoll and from the clock tower because George and Dizzy with the double snipe, but George gets his bid in first. So we have George at 15. Hope you're okay, Rita. You know, it reminds me of the time where I was home cooking and uh, my wife was working and I had cut my hand and I called my wife because it was bleeding so much that I panicked and I freaked out and I said, I said, you got to, you got to call it. <laughs> what did I say? You wanted to go to the emergency. I wanted to go to the, I think I got to go to the ER guys. I'm leaking all over the place. And she just laughed right in my face, right in my ear. It was a small cut. It, it, it probably was not warranty. Uh, George, this is a proof 69, proof 69 deep cam graded by PCGS. We have Dizzy at 16. 16, looking for 17. Going once. Going twice now. This is a PCGS graded Proof 69 Deep Cam 1977S Clad Proof Eisenhower Dollar. Oh, Lance, sniper alert, sniper alert, George coming back at seven. We had 17, should I say. We have a head-to-head -head battle, George versus Diddy, Dizzy, <laughs> Dizzy Diddy. I didn't know you were uh, bad boys for life, Dizzy. <laughs> so we have <laughs> George at 17 going once, going Twice now. What's going on, Aussie Coin Girl? All in. All out. 
Last call. And sold to George Kimmel. Congratulations, George. That is $17 for the Clad Proof Eisenhower, graded by PCGS. Congratulations, George. And you will get jackpot entry number eight. So there you have it. All right, George. We will add this to your wallet, which is looking very impressive, I might add. I got three tiny stitches in, had to sterilize everything. Yeah, I could imagine. And especially if you go somewhere else for stitches, that's it's really not the time to to uh, if you can if you can help it. You want to avoid the hospital, especially over here in New York. But things are getting better, guys. So uh, little by little, as you know, toilet paper is a hot commodity nowadays. So I just want to take this time to share uh, a story with you guys. My mother's husband ordered something from Amazon. You know, it's so hard to find toilet paper locally. So he said, let me order it online. So he said, oh, a 12 pack for $12. That's a great deal. He gets the package and he receives this. Now, when he first showed me this, I thought it was receipt paper. But these are <laughs> these are mini rolls of toilet paper. $12 for a 12 pack of mini toilet paper rolls. So <laughs> I said, why is he buying all of this receipt paper? Oh my goodness. Anyway, I thought that was funny. <laughs> He's going to send it back, hopefully. All right. <laughs> Yep, that's that's what's currently going on in New York, guys. All right, moving on here. Uh, we're going to switch gears, and we're going to pull up some sterling silver jewelry. Now, we have a set. This is a 24-inch sterling silver necklace and 8-inch bracelet set for a combined weight of 20 grams of sterling silver. And I shine these up nice. For you guys, so you can see. Starting bid here is $10 for the set. So that's $10 for the set. Once again, the sterling silver necklace is 24 inches and the bracelet is 8 inches. So there you have it. Starting bid, $10. Yeah, that's right, Silver Balls. I think toilet paper is probably not high on the uh, priority list because, uh, well, you would think food and water top that, but we have Silverfish at 10. Yeah, so it is a long, uh, pretty long chain. Uh, it's 24 inches. Uh, the bracelet is 8 inches. What's going on? Empyrean is in the building. EMP. Shout out to EMP who designed the uh, YouTube auction graphic for the stream. So we have Silverfish at 10. Looking for 11. We have Will at 11. 11 looking for 12. 12, 12. Do we have 12? By the way, those monster drinks... Uh, I know Silver Nitrate's probably rolling his eyes, but those monster drinks are probably not the best. We have Hidden says, where's the coins? <laughs> you know we have to have at least one jewelry piece or one uh, non-traditional item on the auction. We have Silverfish at 12. Looking for 13, 13. Do we have 13? So it's a 24-inch sterling silver necklace, 8-inch bracelet. The total weight is 20 grams of sterling silver. And uh, let's see if I can uh, 
It has some nice shine to it, for sure. And Michael M at 13. What's going on? Collective Chris is in the building. Good to see you, Chris. All right, we have Michael M at 13. Look at the 14, 14. We have 14. This is item number nine. So we are nearly halfway through the entrees. But things will start to pick up. And we have Silverfish at 14. Michael M coming back at 15. Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go. Once again, 24-inch sterling silver necklace, 8-inch bracelet set. Total weight is 20 grams. Michael M at 15 going once. Going twice now. We have Michael M at 15 looking for 16 for the set. Oh, Lynn. Oh, don't laugh at Michael M. <laughs> or me. <laughs> Last call. And sold to Michael M for $15. Michael M having Mrs. Splotta laughing back here because I know Mrs. Splotta is picturing me with this set on here. Yes, I am. <laughs> so there you have it. Congratulations, Michael M. A great deal on that sterling silver necklace and bracelet set. You will also receive jackpot entry number nine. So there you have it. And it is in there. <laughs> so we will add that to your wallet, Michael M. Mrs. Plata will carefully enter it into. Thank you, Mrs. Plata. All right, let's focus. All right. We have clarity here on the webcam. I don't know why it blurs all of a sudden. All right, we're going to move on to item number 10, guys. Item number 10 here is a 1945S War Nickel. MS65 graded by NGC. Starting bid here is $10 for the 1945 War Nickel. There you have it. It, it. it does not have full steps, by the way. As you can see, it would be designated on the uh, on the slab, or at least we would hope it would. All right, so hidden at 15. Hidden at 15. Looking for 16. 16. Do we have 16? Silver fish at 16. 16. Looking for 17. <laughs> be dumb. We have Chris at 18. Oh, I'm sorry, Rosa. Uh, we do not have an OS system here, but uh, if one of my mods would be able to post the link to the list, I would greatly appreciate it. You can find it in the description. And if the link does not work, sometimes we do have a little bit of trouble with the link. I also listed uh, the items in the description of the video uh, just in case. I know for some weird reason the link stops working sometimes. And uh, just to avoid that, we, we have the, the list in this, the description as well. Thank you, Mrs. Mercer. I appreciate that. We have Chris at 18 going once. Going twice now so mrs mercer has posted the list the auction menu for tonight sniper alert sniper alert we have scott jarvey at 19. scott jarvey at 19 for the ms65 1945 s war nickel and silver fish at 19. 19, looking for 20, 20. Do we have 20? Oh, I'm sorry. We have Scott Jarvey at 19. Silverfish, you actually may be uh, experiencing some lagging here. So Scott Jarvey at 19. We'll give you a chance to answer if you choose, but we have 
Scott at 19, looking for 20. Going once. Going twice now. This is a NGC graded MS65 War Nickel 1945S. All in. All out. Last call. And soul to Scott Jarvie. Congratulations, Scott. That's $19 for the slabbed war nickel. Congratulations. And Scott, you will also receive jackpot entry number 10. And that will go into the jackpot box. All right. And let's add this to your wallet, Scott Jarvie. And then we will move on to, to some constitutional silver. Who loves constitutional silver? I love constitutional silver. And I'm sure many of you do as well. All right, Scott, it is in there. All right, next up, we have dimes. This is a one dollar face Roosevelt silver dimes. Starting bid here is ten dollars for the ten rosy dimes, they are circulated. And uh, mixed years, we have 1962, 1951, 1959, 63, 54, and uh, we have Rosa at 22. Rosa at 22, looking for 23, 23. Do we have 23? Paul is out. Dimes going once, going twice now. We have Rosa 22 looking for 23 for the 10 rosy dimes. All in, all out. Last call and sold to Rosa for $22. Congratulations, Rosa. We will put that here for you. That is $22 for the $1 face value Rosie Dimes. And you will also receive jackpot entry number 11. And for those just joining us, we will have five soccer spins at the end of the uh, stream. And we are using the jackpot format. There we go. For some reason, when I press the soccer block, the coaster here, it everything clears up. <laughs> it's weird. Viera Coins is in the building. What's going on, brother? I'm still a little sick to my stomach, Mr. Viera. <laughs> Good to see you, brother. All right, let's get this down here for Rosa. Now, Rosa, I did send your previous package out, and uh, I did also provide you with the tracking info. So if you need anything else, just let me know. And we are starting an envelope here for your items. So uh, there you have it. All right. Next up, number uh 12 number 12 oh i just missed out on it i missed out on a deal that's all mercer it happens you snooze you lose and the early bird gets the worm all right so we have one dollar face value of washington silver quarters 1964 from Denver, 1964, from Denver, 
1959 and 1951. Starting bid here is $10. What's going on, Mr. Dill Pickle? Thank you for joining me. We have Addicted to Stacks at 12, Hidden at 13. Hidden at 13, looking for 14, 14. Do we have 14 for the $1 face value? Washington Silver Quarters. And Rosa at 20. Rosa at 20, looking for 21, 21. Do we have 21? Rockzilla at 21. Rockzilla at 21, looking for 22, 22. Do we have 22 now for the Washington Silver Quarters? So, uh, Rita, just in case you're not able to access the link, I also uh, posted the uh, list in the description. So if you uh, scroll down, you will see an auction list. That's just in case, you know, I know the uh, link could act up at times. We have Rosa at 24. 24, look at 25, 25. Do we have 25? Rockzilla coming back at 25. Back and forth they go, back and forth they go for the Washington Silver Quarters. $1 face value. Dennis did post the link of the auction menu in the chat. Thank you for that, Dennis. Uh, if you if you're not able to access that link, as I said, the list is in the description. We have Rosa at 28. Rosa at 28. Looking for 29. 29. Do we have 29? Going once. Going twice now. Sniper alert, sniper alert, Rockzilla coming back at 30. Rockzilla at 30, looking for 31. Back and forth they go. Rosa at 32. Now I'm going to have to check these dates here. We have Rosa at 32. Rosa at 32, looking for 33, 33. Do we have 33? Going one. Going twice now. We have Rosa at 32, looking for 33 for the $1 face value, Washington Silver Quarters. All in. All out. Last call. And... Sold to Rosa for $32. Congratulations, Rosa. We will add this with the uh, collection of dimes. And you will also receive jackpot entry number 12. Jackpot entry number 12 for Rosa. So that is your second entry. Dennis also has two entries. And AG Surfer has an entry. Curtis has an entry. Holly has an entry. Silver Balls, George Kimmel, Scott Jarvie, and Michael M. All right. Congratulations. Next up is a 2016 Panda, 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 Panda. This is the 30-gram Panda. Starting bid here, $20 for the three nines fine silver coin. AG Surfer at 20. AG Surfer at 20. Looking for 21, 21. Do we have 21? We have Dizzy at 25. Dizzy at 25. AG Surfer at 26. Hidden at 30. Hidden at 30. Looking for 31, 31. Do we have 31? This is a 2016 one ounce Chinese panda. Rita says, just saw the list. Where the heck is alternate? I have no idea, Rita. I copied the uh, actual description of the coin. However, the uh, it is a wedding anniversary commemorative uh, silver. So I'm not sure where the term came from, but we have Rosa at 34. Rosa at 34. Looking for 35, 35. Do we have 35? 
for the 2016 Panda, 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 Panda. Going once. Going twice now. Rose at 34, looking for 35 for the one ounce. Panda. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Rosa for $34. Rosa starting to gain some momentum here. That's the third consecutive win for Rosa. Congratulations, Rosa. And you will receive jackpot entry number 13. Mercer says, see you all Friday. If you are doing rolls, I can't stand the war auctions. Uh, Mercer, actually, this Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday, the soccer plot, the jackpot will return. I have four boxes of half dollars available for Tuesday night stream. And I'm very excited and looking forward to the return of the soccer plot, the jackpot. So uh, for Tuesday, we will have four boxes of halves available. And I'm going to go out on the limb and guarantee that we find at least one silver on Tuesday night. And if not, I'm retiring. I'm just kidding. It happens, guys. So number 13 for Rosa, and it is in there. All right. Congratulations, Rosa. We are going to move on to number 14. But before we do... Game time. We're going to play a game. A precious metal. Go. The first person to guess the precious metal correctly and spell it correctly will win an entry into the soccer plot, the jackpot. We will have five soccer spins for the end of stream tonight. What's going on, Silver OCD? Boom, we have a winner, 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 chicken dinner. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> Mrs. Plop is shaking her head. I know you're shaking your head. I can sense it. I can feel the energy. We have a winner, and the winner is Viera Coins. There you go, Viera. You have one entry in the soccer plot, the jackpot, and that is entry number 26, Viera. So good luck, Viera. 26, and we will enter it into the jackpot box. All right. Good luck, Viera. Viera says, do it one more time. He says, give it to Rita. So we are going to give it to Rita. Courtesy of Viera Coins. Very cool of you, Viera. So congratulations to Rita, courtesy of Viera Coins. Rita, you are entry number 26. All right. Number 14 now. Moving right along here is a 1964 Kennedy Silver Proof. It is not the accented hair variety. Now, often people uh, are quick to jump to conclusions, but Viera, correct me if I'm wrong, the I in Liberty is also an indicator in recognizing if it has the accented hair. So I believe a portion of the lower part of the uh, I And maybe Viera can do a, a video. Oh, look at that. Viera says, I'm doing accent hair tomorrow. So uh, so that's perfect. So maybe just a brief little uh, description on how the easiest indicator, obviously the hair, but uh, I believe the eye and liberty also is an indicator. So the starting bid here is $20, $20 starting bid. It is not the accented hair variety. And... Uh, 1964 Kennedy silver proof. Yeah, so the uh, easy indicator is the eye there. Uh, there is a blemish on Kennedy there. 
So there's a spot on there. I'm not sure if it's on the coin or not. We can find it by moving it around. It looks to be on the coin, yes. So starting bid here is $20 if anyone is interested. We have the 1964 Kennedy, Washington Silver Quarter, and Rosie Dime. Those are the silver coins. So three silver coins in the set here. We have silver sacks at 20. Silver sacks at 20. Looking for 21, 21. Do we have 21? Oh, Rebel Randy. I think that was a typo there. So we have silver sacks at 20. Looking for 21. Yeah, the uh, ultra cameo look looks beautiful. I would not say this this is cameo in my personal opinion opinion, but that's why we hold it for you guys to analyze so that you can be the judge. We have Paul at 22. Paul at 22. Looking for 23. 23. Do we have 23? And some nice toning on the nickel there. The nickel always, for some reason, tones very nicely in these uh, plastic seals. Paul at 22. Going once. Going twice now we have paul at 22 for the 1964 kennedy silver proof set oh let's snipe over duck for cover silver sacks at 23 with a perfectly timed snipe silver sacks at 23 looking for 24 24 do we have 24 no, yeah the ultra cameo you know it's uh it's just something staring into the deep blue sea. You can look at those coins all day long. Paul Hampton coming back at 24 now. Paul at 24, looking for 25, 25. Did we have 25? Back and forth they go. Going once. Going twice now. We have Paul at 24, looking for 25 for the 1964 Kennedy Silver Proof set. All in. All out. Last call. And uh, it does come with the envelope, Silver Sacks. The envelope is here. And what the sniper alert! <laughs> Silver Sacks pulled a Rita technique with the distraction, with the uh, misdirection there. And Silver Sacks at 25. Paul coming right back at 26. Paul is undeterred. Paul at 26, looking for 27. 27. Do we have 27? Back and forth they go. A head to head battle. Silver Sacks versus Paul Hampton. I think it's a first. On the soccer block, the channel going once, going twice now. We have Paul at 26 for the 1964 Kennedy Silver Proof set. All in, all out. Last call. And so to Paul Hampton. Congratulations, Paul. That was a heart fought victory. That is $26 for the 1964 proof set. And Paul, you will also receive entry number 14 in the Saka Plata jackpot for the end of stream giveaways, which we are doing five separate Saka spins. And for those that are familiar with the uh, soccer spins, uh, you have a chance to win up to a Benji or Walker. So potentially we could be giving away five Benjis or Walkers, or it could go the other way. There are 40 percenters. There are quarters in there as well. All right. Congratulations, Paul. We are going to move on 
to item number 15. Uh, Silver OCD, the 2021 Red Books have come in from Vieira. I did send a couple of them out. Uh, Silver OCD, your uh, book is in my possession. So if you do want your wallet sent out with the Red Book, just shoot me an email. That way I can reference it uh, tomorrow morning. All right. So, Brad, your number was 28. Yes, that's correct, Brad. All right. Moving on to item 15. This is the 2020 one ounce 30th anniversary Australian Kookaburra. Impeccable coin, guys. This coin, the design of these Australian uh, coins are really, really beautiful. Four nines fine silver. 30th anniversary starting bid is $20. AG starts it up. AG starting it up. $20. Looking for 21. We have Dizzy at 25. Hitting at 26. Brad at 27. Going up the ladder. We have Brad at 27. Looking for 28. 28. We have 28. Rosa coming in at 28. Rita at 30. Rita at 30. Looking for 31. 31. We have 31. Rita at 30. Looking for 31. Just edging out AG Surfer. We have Dizzy at 33 for the 30th anniversary Kookaburra. Dizzy at 33, looking for 34, 34. Do we have 34? AG Surfer coming in at 34. Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go. We have a battle royale for the one ounce 2020 Australian Kookaburra. Four nines, fine silver. AG Surfer at 34. Going once. Going twice now. And Rita coming in at 35 with the sniper alert. Sniper alert. And let's see here. Uh, A.B. Silver says, I don't think I got my mail today. Be right back. Is there some more gold in that mail, A.B.? A.B. Silver and gold. All right. We'll start it up. We're going to start up the count once again. Rita at 35. Going once. Going twice now. Rockzilla says, do you have the gold one for the pair? Oh, I wish. I mean, I could imagine how nice the gold one would look in front of this camera right now. This is a 2020 one-ounce 30th anniversary Australian kookaburra. We have Rita at 35. All in. All out. Last call, and sold to Rita Doyle. Congratulations, Rita. You have won the 2020 one-ounce 30th anniversary Australian kookaburra for $35. And Rita, you will also receive jackpot entry number 15. Congratulations, Rita. And it is in there. All right, Rita, let's add this to your wallet. I don't get it. And we are getting ready to transition into dessert. And I love me some chocolate cake. I love me some cookies. I love me some chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. But I love me some gold, silver, and platinum more. All right. So let's see here. So Collective Chris, my next au auction has yet to be determined, but I do stream on Tuesdays and Fridays. This upcoming Tuesday, I will have the Soccer Blocker Jackpot Coin Row Hunt, and uh, we'll see where that leaves us on Friday. But most likely... I don't want to announce anything official yet. We may do the, uh, the auction on Friday. It depends on if I can return the coinage uh, after hunting it on Tuesday night. So I will keep you guys posted. And Silver Knight just says, I did it. 1927 double eagle. Holy smokes. All right. Uh, let's see here. Vieira Coin says, before dessert, can you do a game for a red book? Certainly. I can definitely do that. Shout out to Vieira Coins. Make sure you guys subscribe to Vieira Coins. 
uh, he will be releasing a video tomorrow. So make sure you have him and you're connected to him. And very cool of you, Vieira. Thank you so much for doing that. And we are going to do a game for a red book and a jackpot entry. A month of the year. Go. A month of the year. It must be the complete month. Correct spelling. No abbreviations. The first person to guess correctly will win. And Rita, you have number 15. Sorry, I missed you there. All right. And we have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. And the matrix of months of the year are coming in. But we have a winner. And that winner is Chris Brummett. Chris Brummett, congratulations, brother. You have jackpot entry number 25, and you will also receive a red book courtesy of Viera Coins. So there you have it, Chris. Congratulations. That is jackpot entry number 25. All right. Congratulations. All right. Let's add this 1964 Kennedy set to Paul Hampton's wallet here before we continue. All right. There we have it. So congratulations, Chris Brummett. You have just won a Red Book courtesy of Vieira Coins, and you have received jackpot entry number 25. All right, next up, we're going to move into the dessert menu, guys. First up is a beautiful 1904 O Morgan dollar. I've been sending, I've sent a couple in for grading, and they've been scoring MS63s consistently. This, I don't see why it would not score 63 if you sent it in for grading. And the starting bid here is $30. $30 starting bid for Morgie Morg. $19.04 old Morgan dollar. Absolutely gorgeous. We have Dizzy at 35, Hidden at 40, NC at 45. That escalated quickly. 45, looking for 46, 46. Do we have 46? NCFXSTI, who, by the way, is trying to obtain his goal. So, guys, if you haven't subscribed to him, he's trying to reach his milestone. Let's help him out. If you guys haven't already done so, hop over to his page and give him a sub. All right, we have NCFXSTI at 45 going once. Going twice now. This is a 1904 O Morgan dollar. NC at 45, looking for 46. All in. All out. Last call. And. So to NC, congratulations, NC. That is $45 for the 1904O Morgan dollar. Very beautiful, beautiful coin heading your way. So we will add that to your wallet. You will also receive jackpot entry number 16. And we will enter that into the jackpot right now. There it is. All right, NC, congratulations. Let's label this, and then we will transfer it into your wallet with up with your other items. NCFXSTI, 1904 O Morgan. All right. 
there we have it. What is your favorite coin, Rosa? If you had to pick one, and that goes for everyone, what if you if you could narrow it down to your favorite coin in your collection, which is very hard to do when you have quite a few great options. What is that favorite coin? What is that one coin that has the edge over the other coins in your collection? Rosa says peace dollar. Well, that's something that we have in common, Rosa. I enjoy peace dollars as well. Collective Chris says Morgan. And uh, I recently obtained a gold Merc dime a couple of them. I auctioned one off and I have one in my own personal collection. And that at this point in time right now is a coin that I have been looking at and staring at for quite some uh, bit of time for ever since I uh, was able to obtain it. So there's another coin that I am looking to add to my collection that I've been having uh, in my sights for a long time. I'm hoping to be able to obtain that very very soon and if and when i do i will make a video uh revealing what that coin is all right so congratulations and see let's move on shall we we are moving on to a one uh 141 a.d ancient rome silver denarius check this out ancient roman coin And there you have it. Here's the information of this coin. Ancient Rome, Faustina Sr. We have Holly at 55. Holly at 55, looking for 56 now. Chris Brummer says St. Gaudens. Yes, the St. Gaudens is beautiful. Rebel says 1889 Morgan CC. CC Morgan. Dizzy says I could stumble upon a high. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't we all? <laughs> We have Rosa edging out hidden at 70. And uh, Silver Nitro says 1820 over nine seated half. That is awesome. You found a seated uh, metal detecting. That is awesome, Will. All right. We have hidden at 80, just edging out Rosa. Rosa coming back at 85. Back and forth they go, back and forth they go. Let's take a look at the reverse, shall we? Can we get some clarity on there? I think the plastic is giving it a little bit of trouble. Can we get some clarity? There we have it. We have Rosa at 85 for the Silver Denarius Ancient Rome. Rosette 85 hidden is out. Going once. Going twice now. Rosa at 85. Oh, sniper alert, sniper alert, Rockzilla coming in with the snipe from the grassy knoll. We did not see that one coming. Rockzilla at 90. Rosa coming right back at 95. Rosa at 95, looking for 96 now. 95, looking for 96. If we hit 100, if we do reach 100, it will be $5 intervals going forward. Rosa at 95, going once. And we have Rockzilla at 96. It looks like. Another head-to-head -head battle, Rosa versus Rockzilla. Rockzilla at 96, looking for 97, 97. Do we have 97? We have Rosa at 98. Rosa at 98, looking for 99, 99. Do we have 99? 141 AD, ancient Rome, silver denarius. Rosa at 98, looking for 99. Going once. Going twice now. We have Rosa at $98 for the AD Ancient Rome Silver Denarius. Oh, Lynn, it is about the size of a dime. That's right, uh, Rock and Roots. All out. Last call. And so 
to Rosa for $98. Congratulations, Rosa. Oh, and you just missed it. We had Rockzilla come in at 99 and Rosa was right back at it with the 100 But sold, sold, sold to Rosa at 98 I apologize uh, if there's any lag. I will slow things down. So congratulations, Rosa. You got it at $98. Rosa. And you will get jackpot entry number 17 now. And it is in there. All right. Let's do one game. Let's do one game for an entry into the soccer block, the jackpot. A word that rhymes with mint. A word that rhymes with mint. Press the soccer plot the button for clarity. It's not working this time. Usually when I press this for some reason, there it goes. Wow, first guess. We have a first guess winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner stop in the name of love. We have a winner. That was the first guest, and the first guest belonged to Hidden. Hint, what's going on, Clay37? Clay37 is in the building, everybody. Gold miners in the house. It is a freaky Friday night party. Thank you guys for being here. Hope you guys are enjoying yourself so far. We have Hint, and Hidden is the winner. So, Hidden, you will receive jackpot entry number 24. Congratulations, Hidden. And it is in there. All right. That was right on target. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look here. We are going to move on to the first platinum item to ever be introduced on my stream. So I've never done platinum before. We have had gold, we have had silver, but today we will have platinum. So here we have it. This is a 2017 120th ounce, 99.95 platinum quarter sovereign proof. This is celebrating the wedding of Elizabeth and Philip. Low mintage alert. Low mintage alert. Only 20, only 2,999 on planet Earth. That's right, guys. And there you have it. And that is the condition of the, of the platinum coin that you are bidding on. The starting bid here is $60 for the 120th ounce platinum quarter sovereign proof. Once again, 2,999 minted. Commemorating the wedding. And Dizzy at 70, hitting at 75. 75 looking for 76. 75 looking for 76 now. 2017, Elizabeth and Philip. And Julie coming in at 30. Julie at 30, looking for 31. Uh, I'm sorry, 80. How did I see 30? Maybe too many ginger ales. We have Dennis at 85 now. Dennis at 85, looking for 86. Rosa is contemplating. Dennis at 85. Uh, Julie at 90. We have Julie at 90. It's a battle royal. It's a royal rumble for the platinum quarter sovereign proof. 2,999 in the world. Julie at 90. Going once. Oh, we have Dennis at 91. Dennis at 91. Dennis at 91, looking for 92. If it reaches 100, it will be $5 intervals going forward. And we have Julie coming back at 95. Julie at 95, looking for 96, 96. Do we have 96 for the platinum? 120th ounce, 99.95 platinum quarter sovereign proof from 2017. We have Dennis at 96. 
Dennis at 96. Looking for 97, 97. Do we have 97? Going once. Going twice now. And Aaron has reservations for dessert. We have Dennis at $96 for the 2017 120th ounce 99.95 platinum quarter sovereign proof vintage of 2,999. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Dennis Stewart for $96. Congratulations, Dennis. That is the first platinum coin on my auction, and that will go to you, my friend. Congratulations, Dennis. That is 96. And you will also receive jackpot entry number 18. How cool is that? And it is in there. All right, Dennis. We will add that to your wallet, Dennis. And let's move on, shall we? Next up is the first gold coin of the auction. Item number 19 is a Proof 70 Ultra Cameo 2017 Mongolia Half Gram 4 Nines Gold Proof, and the mintage is 10,000. It also has an early releases designation. So there you have it. It is the evolution. It's the Soros, if I pronounce that right. It's the Kosaurus. Close enough. Starting bid here is $70. And we have Dennis at 80. It is an adorable coin here. 2017 Mongolia hidden at 100. I have one in my own perma stack, guys. So what I've been trying to do is get pairs of everything at least that way you know i love my word world coins as well guys so anytime i can add one to my own personal collection i will i will definitely try to do that and these are one of those coins that uh, i was able to do i was able to do that we have hidden at 100 Aaron says give me a bone sock ag surfer at 105 these are hard to find guys there is a mintage of 10,000, but those that have it on their sites are sold out. So I'm not sure how many you can get a hold of. But this is a Proof 70 Ultra Cameo AG Surfer at 105. Going once. Going twice now. We have AG Surfer at 105 for the 2017 Mongolia. All in. All out. Sniper alert! Sniper alert! Duck for cover! Rosa coming in at 115. And AG Surfer coming back at 120. Hidden gets in at 125. Back and forth they go. We have a triple threat battle. Hidden at 125, AG Surfer at 130, 130, look at 135 now. That escalated very quickly. I thought it was just the ginger ale. We have Rosa coming in at 145, 145, looking for 150 now. 145, looking for 150 for the Proof 70 Ultra Cameo 2017 Mongolia. Let's take a close up on this adorable gold coin here. Rose at 145. Going once. Going twice now. 
glad you're enjoying yourself, Paul. This is a fun night for me as well. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. We have Rose at 145, looking for 150. Oh, Sniper Alert! AG Surfer coming back at 150 now. Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go. We have gold. Slabbed by NGC early releases designation as well. Rosa coming back at 155. Collective Chris Asaka, you're one away from 600. That's awesome. I hope we can get to 600. And I am hoping that we can get to the ultimate goal of 1,000. But I am grateful for how my stream has grown. And it's all because of you guys. Thank you so much. And while I'm talking, we are witnessing a back and forth battle here between AG Surfer and Rosa. We have Rosa at 170. We have AG Surfer at 180. Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go. Where's the popcorn? Let me take a sip of the ginger ale because my throat is getting dry and I am left in awe and suspense. A $200 bid from Rosa. We have Rosa at 200. 200, looking for 205, 205. Do we have 205? Grab the popcorn, grab the chips, grab the ice cream. Now I'm getting hungry. We have Rose at 200. Going once. Going twice now. This is a proof 70 Ultra Cameo 2017 Mongolia. Half gram, four nines, gold proof. Mintage is 10,000. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Rosa for $200. Congratulations, Rosa. What an epic battle that was. Back and forth. Thank you, AG Surfer, for being a part of such a very exciting and suspenseful back and forth battle. That was a lot of fun to watch. So that's 200 for Rosa. And Rosa, you will also receive entry number 19. And... Uh, Hopefully, that's the first in your collection. I know you have a massive collection, but I always take a little pride in being able to pull something out and being uh, adding a first to someone's collection. So fingers crossed, hopefully that's your first. If not, it's still a fabulous coin, and you will get entry number 19. And it is in there. All right, congratulations, Rosa. What an exciting battle that was. All right, guys, we have reached the main event of the evening. Item number 20 is a one-tenth ounce American Liberty 49 fine gold proof with a mintage of 135,000 on planet Earth, which isn't that bad for a... Uh, gold coin but this coin is gorgeous now it, it is not bu as you can see so this is the condition of the coin that you are bidding on it does have some cameo for sure this is a one tenth ounce so this is a one tenth ounce hidden Starting bid here is 250 for the 2018 one tenth ounce American Liberty four nines fine gold proof. And we have gold miner at 250, 250 looking for 255, just edging out AG Surfer. Let's get a close up. That way we can admire the glory of this coin. We have hidden at 260. Hidden at 260. Looking for 270 now. I'm sorry. Uh, we can do $5 intervals. 
265. We're looking for 265. We have hit in that 260. Looking for 265 now. Absolutely gorgeous coin. And yes, I have one in my own personal collection as well. You can just get lost in that coin. We have hidden at 260. Looking for 265. Going once. We have AG Surfer coming back at 270. AG Surfer at 270. Looking for 275. 270. Looking for 275 for the one tenth ounce. 2018 American Liberty four nine fine gold proof. AG Surfer at 270. Going one. Going twice now. We have AG Surfer at 270, looking for 275 for the 2018 one tenth ounce American Liberty 49 fine gold proof. All in gold miner with the snipe. We have gold miner at 275, AG Surfer coming back at 280. Back and forth they go, back and forth they go. AG server at 280, looking for 285, 285. Do we have 285? How beautiful is this coin? There it is. That That is just a beautiful, beautiful cameo there. We have AG surfer at 280 going once. Going twice now. We have AG Surfer at 280, looking for 285 for the 2018 one tenth ounce American Liberty four nines fine gold proof. All in, all out. Last call. And so to AG Surfer, $280. Congratulations, AG. How about that for a battle? That's $280 for AG Surfer. And AG Surfer, you will also receive... Jackpot entry number 20. So congratulations to AG Surfer. We will put this in your wallet. Your entry is in there. And that is your first gold coin in the wallet. That's right, AG. Congratulations. Here's your wallet. I know it's been a while. And you have your items inside there. So Dizzy, a uh, collective Chris has a wallet uh he has a sticker in his wallet so he does have a wallet all right ag surfer congratulations and just like that 20 items up 20 items down but not to worry guys because we're gonna throw a couple more in the mix all right uh rosa we will ship your items All right. Now, uh, you can always have your wallet requested to be shipped at any time. And let's see here. Dizzy says, please, Saka Plata. What did I miss here? Collector, do you have a wallet? Drop him five mercs from my wallet. All right, Dizzy, will do. That is awfully generous of you. So let's get five mercs here courtesy of dizzy and we're going to redirect those five mercs to collective chris how about that so collective chris you have some silver in your wallet now you had some copper in there but you gave it away to mrs mercer so that was very generous of you and coin karma coming right back around he said five mercs and there are five all right very, very cool. All right, Collective Chris. 
So we'll add that. Very, very cool. Oh, I'm looking out for those 2020 P and D's uh, hidden. No luck on the remainder of that nickel box, but we'll keep an eye out for sure. All right, guys. Well, it is time for the jackpot. But if you want to stick around after the jackpot, uh, we will pull out a couple of additional items as well. Maybe I'll add another piece of gold or maybe some more silver. We'll see how we do. All right, guys. We'll add one more. We'll add one more uh, winner. So we're going to play one last game here. Let's play one last game. And this will be in relation to my coin roll hunts. All right, here we go. Finish the sentence. When I find silver, I say silver is in the roll. Silver is what? The first person to guess correctly will get the final entry into the soccer block, the jackpot. Silver is in the roll. Silver is oh, very close. Very close. Not seeing it here. So when I say silver is in the roll, silver is in the. What do we search through? When we, what do we search through? Where do the rolls come from? Silver's in the roll. But where do the rolls come from? We have a winner, 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 chicken dinner, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We have a winner, and that winner is Dizzy. Dizzy says in the box, silver is in the row, silver is in the box. So there you have it, Dizzy. You will get jackpot entry number 23. So congratulations, Dizzy, and that's karma for you. Now let's see if you can uh, win. We're going to pull out five winners. All right, uh, payment received. Thank you so much for that, AG Surfer. I appreciate that. And for those that are not aware, let's say uh, it's your first time on the stream, there are two methods of payment that I accept. You can either pay me during the stream via friends and family, if I do not receive payment during the stream, I will invoice you. Uh, so it's really up to whatever works best for you. Some people don't like to wait. Some people prefer the invoice. Whatever you prefer, that's perfectly fine. But those are the two options, whether it's PayPal, goods and services uh, via an invoice after the stream. You can expect that within 24 hours of the stream. Or you can pay during the stream, friends and family. So it's completely up to you. Let's get the uh, the iPad here so we can pull up the soccer spin. Thank you, Mrs. Plata. Mrs. Plata is in the building, everybody. And the email address, according to EMP, is soccerplataNY at gmail.com. Perfect. Thank you, Mrs. Plata. Let's see here. Oh, what just happened? Oh, okay. Here we go. We have, all right, let's do a full screen. Gigi's in the building, everybody. Say hello to Gigi if you haven't heard. She was having a virtual play date with her friends. All right. And once again, shout out to CHC and to the mystery donator. Uh, very nice package that we received. 
Thank uh, you. We appreciate it. Absolutely. <laughs> very, very grateful. Thank you. All right. All right, AB Silver. Always great to have you on the stream, brother. I will talk to you behind the scenes and I will see you on Tuesday. All right, guys. So here we go. We're going to to avoid causing any ear damage. Oh, we love you too, Mercer. Mercer says hello, Gigi. Hello. Right. So we have items in here. We're going to shake it up away from the microphone. So normally I like to shake it in front of you guys so that you guys can see what I'm doing. But, you know, I, I don't want to damage your hearing. So we're going to shake it up here. All right, good luck. We're going to pull out five winners here. So let's back this up a little bit. We're going to put five winners. So I'm going to just pull out five numbers. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And there's five. All right, here we have it. And the winners are number seven, Silver Balls. Silver Balls, you are winner number one, so you will get the first spin. Congratulations. Next up is Paul Hampton. Paul Hampton, you are number 14, Paul. So congratulations. You will be the second soccer spin. Third is number 30. Number 30 is Michael M. Michael M, congratulations. You will be number three. Ah. And ah. number three, Ethan's in the building, everybody. Say hello to Ethan. Ethan's mm -hmm. birthday, by the way, is coming up ah. this upcoming Wednesday. Say hello, ah. Ethan. Ah. <laughs> he is fired up and wired up. It is Freaky Freaky Friday night. And we are reaching the end of Autism Awareness Month as well, guys. So uh, make sure if you know someone or have someone in your family that does have autism, make sure you spread the word by helping our neighbors, uh, our friends, and our family to raise awareness for autism. And let's see here. So that was number three. Uh, and Michael Lem, you are spin number three. Oh, happy birthday uh, to your son, Curtis. That's awesome. And the last winner is number 27, Addicted to Stacks. Addicted to Stacks. Wait, I'm missing someone. Number three is number three is Dennis. That's number three. So congratulations, Dennis. Dennis, you will receive spin number four. That was where the confusion was. And Addicted to Stacks will get the final uh, spin. All right. So there you have it, five winners, and those winners are Silver Balls, Paul Hampton, Michael M., Dennis Stewart, and Addicted to Stacks. So congratulations to the winners. Now let's see what, what they won. Let's take a look at what they won. We're going to do a soccer spin, which we normally do on my coin roll hunts. And Gigi, would you like to do the honors? Mm -hmm. All right, Gigi's going to do the honors here. And good luck. We are starting with Silver Balls. And boom! Walker for Silver Balls. Congratulations, Silver Balls. You have just won a Walker. All right. So, Silver Balls, you will receive 
1943 Walker. We will put that in your wallet. All right, congratulations, Silver Balls. All right, next up is Paul Hampton. Come on, Gigi, let's get some more Gigi luck. And Gigi is enjoying her fruit snacks here. It smells very fruity. And Paul Hampton will receive a silver quarter. Silver quarter. So congratulations to Paul Hampton. You will receive a silver quarter. All right, let's uh, grab a silver quarter here. All right, there you have it, Paul. A silver quarter for Paul. And we will add that to your wallet. Oh, yeah, that's right, D-Dub. And the soccer plot, the jackpot, is back, and it will come back on Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. We have four boxes available for Tuesday night stream. All right, next up is... Michael M. Michael M., you are up, my friend. Gigi, would you like to do the honors for Michael M.? Yes. All right, here we go. Did I just reach 600 subscribers? Holly Webb, <laughs> Holly Webb says we reached 600 subscribers, everybody. Yes. Thank you guys so much for the support and for getting us to this incredible goal. All right, two 40 percenters, two 40 percenters for Michael M. And uh, let's add that to your wallet, Michael M. That is two 40 percenters. So there you have it 1967 and 68. We will add that to your wallet, Michael M. And Scott Jarvie will take a look at your wallet shortly. Just remind me. I, if I do forget, it's not intentional. There's a lot of moving pieces here. So I uh, have your wallet here to the, to the right of me. All right. Next up is Dennis Stewart. Dennis Stewart, you are up. And Gigi's got the magic touch. Let's see. Could it be? Uh, it's going to pass the walker. Silver quarter. Silver quarter. Absolutely, Mercer. Everything was sent out. The red book and your entire wallet. I put it all in one grab bag, in the grab bag coin uh, bag. If you have any questions, you can always email me. That's probably the best way to take care of these things. So we have silver quarter for Dennis Stewart. Dennis, we will add that silver quarter. It's a 1943. All right. And finally, addicted to stacks. Addicted to stacks. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get you a Walker or Benji. Oh, could it be? Oh, can it get there? Go! Go! Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? A 40 percenter. So close. A 40 percenter for addicted to stacks. That was, that was a very, very close one. And you will receive a beautiful 1966. So there you have it, Addicted. And we will add that as well. And Empyrean Label says, can you give the Merc I one last time to Victoria and whatever is in my bag to uh, bank to Dennis Stewart? That is incredible, Empyrean. I, I definitely wanted you to have some things because you were so helpful for me. 
uh, with those graphic designs, all the work that you, you've done for me, I really appreciate that. The least I could do is, is give you something in return. So I do want to encourage you to take your gifts, but I, I can still transfer that all over to them, but I do want to send you something. Uh, and that's for, for being so helpful to me. I appreciate that. All right. So there we have it. And do we have confirmation? Did we, uh, we have Scott Jarvis says, can you take three dimes out for a game? All right, Scott, that is awfully cool of you, Scott. So we'll play a game for three dimes for Scott. Now, Scott, let's take a look at your wallet here. Wow, your wallet. Look at Scott's wallet. Scott's wallet. So, Empyrean, if you can just email me exactly what you want me to do. That way, it's probably easier for me to do that off stream. I appreciate you doing that, though. That's awfully nice of you. And there you have it. Scott Jarvey, you have a wallet full of silver and copper and more silver <laughs> and more copper and the slab that you won today as well. So Scott wants me to pull three dimes here. Let me just verify. Take out three dimes. Very cool of you, Scott. Thank you for doing that, brother. I appreciate it. All right. So we're going to do three here. Now we have 33 people in the chat, so I'm not sure a number game is going to be. I mean, we can try a number game. You want to try a number game, Gigi? Gigi's like, nah, no. Nah. All right. Let's see here. We're going to play a game for the three rosy dimes. Here we go. Let's write it down. We are going to write it down here. Oh, Gigi's. Mm, let's see. Say it again, Gigi. Gigi, we're, we're, we're strategizing here. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's, let's do that. We're going to do, just to keep it simple, All right, here we go for the three rosy dimes. Here, write the answer, Gigi, whatever you want. Thank you so much, Mercer. I appreciate that. Mercer just posted the uh, push to 1,000 video. We are doing a collaboration a, a collaboration video, myself and Vieira Coins. And once we reach our respective goals, we will be giving away one tenth ounce gold, 1997 American Gold Eagle slab by PCGS. Just pick one, GT, whatever you prefer. Okay. Here we go. GT picked the question. A pet animal. Go. Oh. A pet animal. So we will accept two different kinds of answers for this specific animal. Oh, we have a winner. We have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, Gigi. Do you know the winner? Yes. All right, go ahead. Will Hornbuckle. Will Hornbuckle, congratulations. A rabbit slash bunny. She put two animals, but then I said, Gigi, let's pick one because I know if we pick the bunny, rabbit is another alternative. So congratulations to Will Hornbuckle. You won the three rosy dimes courtesy of Scott Jarvie. So there you have it. Will Hornbuckle. All right, Will. Let's add that to your wallet. which I believe we may have to reactivate unless I have it in the second section of wallets. All right, so there you have it. Congratulations, Will. 
And thank you, Scott, for doing that. Very, very cool. All right, three rosy dimes for Will. All right, there we have it. There we have it. All right, guys. Well, we're going to keep this auction rolling just a little bit longer. And I am open to taking suggestions. But for right now, we're going to pull out a barber half dollar. Barber half dollar. This is a 1904 barber half dollar. Uh, Rockzilla says, do I have a walker and a 40 percenter in my wallet for a game? Let's check that. Let's check that, Rockzilla. That is awfully nice of you. Let's pull up Rockzilla's wallet here. All right, Rockzilla, you do. Actually, you have a nice amount of silver there, so... You have a walker, and you have a 40 percenter here, a, a beautiful 40 percenter. All right, so let's see here. A walker and 40 percenter. Rob Zilla, that is awesome. Thank you so much for doing that. You guys are awesome. The, the generosity here is just something I never take for granted. You guys... You know, you don't have to do that. And each time you do, it really just, it's its just the greatest feeling because the generosity is something that I've always admired about the coin community. So uh, let's see here. All right, I will check that Rock and Roots. It looks like Rock and Roots want, wants first crack at any enders for Tuesday night stream. And if you guys are looking to donate, to get on the queue for Tuesday night soccer plot the jackpot live stream. Every $10 donation receives one entry into the jackpot. And the more donations received, the bigger the jackpot grows. We have reached as many as 12 jackpot items on my coin roll hunts. So let's see what we can do for Tuesday night. All right, we're going to play a game courtesy of Rockzilla now. So, Rockzilla, we're going to do the Walker and the 40 percenter. Gigi, you pick the game. Ooh. Okay. Let's see here. Um. Okay, as we as we, as we converse in the in the background, guys, bear with us. What's going on, Silver Shark? Okay. Hmm. How can we do that? We can make it this way. All right. Okay, let's see here. Right? Yes. All right, here we go. Gigi, pick the question mm -hmm. and the answer. <laughs> I love games. Okay, games are fun. <laughs> All right, an icy flavor or a slushy flavor. Go! <laughs> <laughs> First person to guess correctly will win the Walker and the 40 percenter. Oh, very close. That's half of the answer. Let's see here. Oh, you got to spell it out. You got to spell it out. Oh, there it is. We had a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hold on. Stop, guys. We need to confirm, and we need to confirm the spelling because one person spelled it correctly, one person didn't. Let's see. There it is. So the winner is. Let's let's uh, verify here. He spelled it wrong. Unfortunately, just W spelled it wrong. 
The winner is Blue Raspberry. Wait, the winner. <laughs> That's Dizzy. Dizzy, congratulations. You have won. It's Blue Raspberry. And just W, you just forgot the P in Raspberry. So the P is uh is silent, a little bit tricky. So Dizzy, you are the winner. You will get the walker and you will get the 1966 40 percenter courtesy of Rockzilla. So how about that for Coin Karma? That is awesome. All right. Very, very cool. All right. Have we reached 600 subs? I believe we might have reached 600 subs. So we'll do, uh, Gigi, would you like to check to verify? Yes. Let's see. We're going to check out, check this out and see if we reach 600 subs. I believe Holly had said that we did reach 600 subs. Does it say 599? All right, we'll track it. We'll track it as we proceed, guys, to see if we can get to 600. All right. Everybody subscribe right now if you did it. <laughs> Thank you, Gigi. All right, guys, we're going to move on to a couple of more items here. Oh, we're still looking for the 2020 coins as well, Rita, so hopefully we can find some in our area. All right, 1904, Barbara Half Dollar. I do have doubles of these. So as you know, these are things, uh, the, the Barbara Halves, Quarters, and Dimes, I often collect. I have uh, my Dan Go album. So this is a double, and we will start the bidding here at $1 for the 1904 Barbara Half. One dollar starting bid for the barber. Half dollar. We have Holly at five. Holly at five. Looking for six. Breeze at six. Six looking for seven now. Six looking for seven for the 1904 barber. Half dollar. We have silver balls at seven. Just edging out dizzy. Holly coming back at eight. Eight looking for nine. Nine. Do we have nine? All right, Mercer. You have a great night. You enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we will see you on Tricky Tricky Tuesday. Holly at 10. Holly at 10. Looking for 11, 11. Do we have 11? Holly at 10. Looking for 11, 11. Do we have 11 for the 1904? Barber, half dollar. And we will continue to pull out some items as well. We have Breeze at 11. Breeze at 11. Looking for 12, 12. Do we have 12? Breeze at 11. Looking for 12. Going once. Going twice now. And Rita with the snipe. We have sniper alert, sniper alert. We have Rita. Rita at 12 and Holly coming at 14. Holly coming in at 14. 14, look at 15, 15. Do we have 15? Holly at 14, look at 15, 15. Do we have 15? Going once. And Dizzy coming in at 15. Dizzy at 15. Looking for 16. 16. Do we have 16 for the 1904? Barber, half dollar. Daddy, I have 600. We're at 600. I think we just reached 600 subs. All right. We have Rosa at 16. <laughs> Rosa at 16, looking for 17. Rosa at 16, looking for 17. Going once. And Dizzy at 20. Dizzy at 20, looking for 21, 21. Do we have 21? Mercer says, soccer plot. Be sure to tell Ethan happy birthday from me, and you will all be safe. Autism speaks, and awareness is key. Thank you so much for that, Mercer. And Breeze also says, ah. wish Ethan a happy birthday. Didn't know it was today. Ah. It's actually ah. next. It's this coming uh, Wednesday, Breeze. So it is the, this upcoming Wednesday. Ethan will turn 13. We have Rosa at 22. Ah. Ah. 
Uh, going once. Going twice now. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Rosa for $22. Congratulations, Rosa. We will add that to your collection of beautiful items here. All right, Rosa. Oh, thank you, D-Dub. We reached... We reached our goal of 600, guys, live on the stream. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. We just auctioned a barber half dollar off. Now we're going to give one away. Now, Rosa wants to give this to Rita, give her win to Rita. So I'm going to notate that here. Very, very cool of you, Rosa. So we will give that to Rita. And we're going to give away this barber half dollar to celebrate 600 subscribers. This is a 1906 barber half dollar. And let's give it away, give it away, give it away now. Here we go. And thank you guys so much for helping me achieve this goal. We have 26 people in the chat. All right, here we go. We're going to play a game for the barber half dollar for the 600 subscribers on this freaky, freaky Friday night. Here we go. A U.S. state. Go. A U.S. state. The winner will win the barber half dollar. Who's going to win the barber half dollar? Barber half dollar. Here comes the flurry. Here comes the storm. We have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. Oh, that is beautiful. We have a winner. What's going on? Clipper Hall, welcome, welcome to the stream. Coin Silver, what's going on, Coin Silver? D Dub is still in the building. What's up, D Dub? We have a winner, guys. And Coin Karma strikes once again because the winner is Scott Jarvie. Scott Jarvie, congratulations. You have just won the 1904. Barber half dollar to celebrate 600 subscribers. So there you have it, Scott Jarvie. Your generosity was repaid instantaneously. All right, Scott. We will add that to your wallet. All right, Scott Jarvie. All right, guys. Let's take a look here. So I've heard silver. I've heard gold. Let's take a look. What are we going to do next? Let's pull this over here. All right, guys. The next item Holly says, I need a V nickel. I might have a V nickel I can toss in your uh in your wallet, Holly. Not in the best shape, but I think we can do that. All right. We can absolutely do constitutional as well. If you have a denomination in mind, Rosa, you let me know. We can put out a specific denomination for you if you'd like. All right. Let's see here. Uh, 
All right, check this out. We have a 1971 50 cents Barbados, uh, Bahamas, excuse me, Bahamas. Oh, that was embarrassing. Bahamas. Well, we're doing this on the fly, and we are live on this Freaky Freaky Friday. I believe it is 50% silver, if I'm not mistaken. Where did my phone go? No, there we go. So the starting bid here will be $1 for the 50 cents from the Bahamas. Holly at five. Holly at five. Looking for six, six. Do we have six? We have Dizzy at 10. So this is the Coinoscope app that I use. You take a snapshot of the uh, image of the coin. I didn't get a good read on that, but you take a snapshot as such, and it'll pull up information. Now, it did give me wrong information regarding the Balboa, so make sure you, you double check. But we have Rosa at 15, D Dub at 16. Rosa at 15, D Dub at 16. We're going to put this here so I can get the information for you guys. Ten point three grams. We have D dub at sixteen. D dub at sixteen going once. So I believe it's eighty percent silver. It is saying eighty percent here with a low with a mintage of thirty one thousand. All right, going twice now. We have D Dub at 16. Looking for 17. All in. All out. Last call. And so to D Dub for sixteen dollars. Congratulations, D Dub. This is the nineteen seventy one fifty cents from the Bahamas and for sixteen dollars. D Dub. We will add that to your wallet, which must be restarted. All right, D-Dub, your wallet is reactivated. Okay, I reloaded. All right. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, Holly. That's what it's all about, enjoying ourselves amongst some great people. So I hope you guys are laying back, relaxing, and enjoying the stream on this freaky, freaky Friday night. All right. We're going to do some silver quarters. We're going to do another $1 face value in Washington silver quarters. Starting bid here is $10 for the four Washington silver quarters. And we have addicted to stacks at 10. 10 looking for 11, 11. Do we have 11? Dizzy at 12. Dizzy at 12 looking for 13, 13. Do we have 13? Item number 23 is $1 face value. Washington silver quarters. We have Dizzy at 12 looking for 13. Aaron at 13. Rose at 15, 15 looking for 16. 16, 16. Do we have 16? Going once. We have George at 16. George at 16. Looking for 17, 17. Do we have 17? Rita says, love Jamaica. Well, I have the coin for you, Rita. Let's make a note because the Jamaican coin is coming right up. 
We have Rosa at 18. Rosa at 18. Looking for 19, 19. We have 19. Going once. Dizzy at 20. Rosa coming back at 22. Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go. Rosa at 22. Looking for 23, 23. Do we have 23? <laughs> Rita says, the island. I don't want a coin. I have them all. <laughs> we have Rosa at 22. Going twice now. Rosa at 22, looking for 23, 23. Do we have 23? All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Rosa for $22. Congratulations, Rosa. We will add that. To your constitutional silver stack, you have some rosy dimes and some more quarters. All right. All right, now I'm going to leave the option on the table. Do we pull out some proof silver or do we pull out some proof gold that is the question Do we pull out some proof silver or some proof gold oh we are at 601 the climb continues all right we have some proof platinum as well too i might want to throw that in there just in case all right we'll do we'll do both all right, Mrs. Plata just confirmed we're at 601 and the climb continues. Thank you guys so much. All right, we're going to pull out a 2013 125th ounce proof bald eagle from Canada. I believe the mintage here is about 13,000. Might be 15,000, 10,000. Bald Eagle, Bald Soccer, Bald Eagle, same thing. What's going on, PNC Floyd? 2013, 125th ounce proof Bald Eagle. Starting bid here is $50, which I normally wouldn't start it that low, but let's go for it. $50. It is a low mintage gold coin. I believe 15,000. We have Holly at 50. Holly at 50. Looking for 51, 51. Do we have 51? Michael M. Sasaka. So when are we going to see channel rounds? I have looked into that, Michael M. It could be quite pricey. So uh, at this point in time, unfortunately, I will not be able to. But uh, I have looked into that. I, I have the design in mind and everything. So and I haven't ruled out a uh, pour, a silver, a silver pour round, but uh, we'll see, guys. I do have my Team 87 sticker available on my uh, Teespring, which I should have the website handy, but I will share the link with once I get some more items up on there. We have Rosa at 75. Now, Clipper Hall, welcome to the stream. If you are interested in bidding, you would need to verify your account before we can accept your bid. So all you have to do is send a $1 verification payment to sockaplataNY at gmail.com. That is uh, the PayPal. And if you send a $1 verification fee, it is refundable. So Clipper Hall, unfortunately, until we receive that verification payment, because this is the first time I'm seeing you on the stream, I would not be able to accept your bid until that verification payment was sent. Now, if you already sent it, just notify me and I will verify that I received it. 
Okay, Clipper Hall, Clipper Hall says, I, I did. All right, let's take a look. I did receive a verification payment from uh, someone here. All right, perfect. Clipper Hall, welcome to the stream, and thank you for verifying. And you are the high bidder at 80. Clipper Hall at 80, looking for 81. 80, looking for 81, and Rosa is out. Clipper Hall at 80, looking for 81, going... Once going twice now, we have Clipper Hall for the 2013 125th ounce proof bald eagle from Canada. All in, all out. Last call and sniper alert, sniper alert, D Dove getting it in before I put the soul. Let's take a picture of that to be completely transparent. We have D Dove at 81. Unbelievable. And I took a picture here. There you have it. We have D Dub at 81 right before the soul button. Unbelievable snipe. D Dub at 81. Looking for 82 now for the 2013. That is as close as it gets, guys. It really is. 2013. Clipper Hall. I thought you had it in the bag and and D Dub perfectly timed that right before. Uh, it says 20. Let's see here. It says 50 cents here. 50 cents. It's such a tiny writing on there, isn't it, Collective Chris? We have Clipper Hall at 84. Back and forth they go. Clipper Hall versus D Dub. We are in the wee hours of the auction. Not the wee hours of the night because it's only 10:55 here on the East Coast. And we have D Dub at 85. Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go. D Dub at 85. Looking for 86. Will Clipper come back with a rebuttal? We have D Dub at 85. Looking for 86. Going. Once going twice now. I completely agree, Collective Chris. That's why I don't hunt dimes either. It does wear on the eyes. We have D Dub at 85, looking for 86 for the 2013 125th ounce proof bald ego from Canada. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to D Dub. Congratulations, D Dub. You have won the 2013 125th ounce Canada proof bald eagle. How about that? Congratulations to D Dub. D Dub has won it. And D Dub, we will add that to your wallet. It is in there. Uh, let's see. Clipper says 88. Let's see. And mods, you can feel free to help me out. I am not seeing 88 here. Oh, you know what it is? Okay. We need to sort this out because 88, for some reason, 88 uh, does not show up on chat. This was brought to my attention on a recent on a recent um, auction. So let's see here. Dizzy says YouTube frowns on 88. I'm not sure why they uh, they do that. Uh, I guess he said it's gang related. So, oh man, you know, I would hate, I would hate to rob uh, both of you guys here. 
Yeah, yeah, that happened to me too when I came in. Actually, I think it was on an auction where me and Rosa were bidding against each other. I came in at one bid and then I put 88, it didn't show up. And then I, it was brought to my attention that the 88 does not show up. So uh, here's, uh, okay, Rosa, you have a great night. And be safe out there. Thank you so much for being here. And I will invoice you within 24 hours. You have a great weekend. And I hope to see you on the Tuesday night corn roll hunt. All right. So here's what we'll do. Uh, to be fair, to be fair, D-Dub, I don't want to rob um, Clipper of his bid. It happened to me where I couldn't bid because of the uh, 88. So uh, D-Dub, if you don't mind, I, I think we can retract here. We have D-Dub at 85, and we'll do a quick going once, going twice. If you want to still do the $88 bid, Clipper, I'm going to allow you to do that. And you guys can battle it out and uh, see who wins. And D-Dub, I hope you don't mind um, because I, I have confirmation that that $88 bid here. I appreciate that, D-Dub. It's only because I know firsthand that that is something that has happened to me. So, all right, we have Clipper at 88, guys. We have Clipper at 88. It is not over till it's over. Clipper at 88, and I have no idea where. Oh, let's pull this. <laughs> we have to pull the gold out of D-Dub's wallet. I'm sorry, D-Dub. So we have Clipper at 88, looking for 89. 88, looking for 89. We're the 50 cents Canada. Clipper Hall at 88, looking for 89. Going, and D-Dub writes the 89. That's a good strategy, D-Dub at 89. Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go, back and forth they go. We have D-Dub at 89. D-Dub at 89, looking for 90. For the 2013 125th ounce Canada Proof Bald Eagle. Gold. Going once. Going twice now. This is a 2013 125th ounce proof bald ego. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to D-Dub. Clipper Hall says, okay, it's yours. What a great and exciting battle. So there you have it, D-Dub. You have won. That's 89 for the gold. So we will put the gold back in your wallet. And thank you for being such a good sport. I appreciate that. All right. Well, that was exciting. Indeed it was, Holly. Now we have the final item of the night. The final item of the night. This is number 25. I don't really like to go past 25 items because I want to make sure I have enough for the soccer block, the jackpot, and for future auctions as well. So we will end it with this two-ounce proof. Libertad. Libertad. This is a 2019, and these are low minted here. We have Mercer starting us off at $1. Mercer starting us off at $1. On the last auction, this coin went for almost, for about $140, I believe. Dennis Stewart had won. This is a two-ouncer. We have Dizzy at 35. Dizzy at 35, looking for 36 now. And the low mintage on the coin, we're looking at a mintage of under 3,000. So we have Paul at 50. Paul at 50, looking for 51. 
50 looking for 51. If you check online on the bullion sites, these are going for a lot more. JM Bullion currently, I believe, has it listed at 90. But, of course, they're sold out. So 2019 two ouncer we have Clipper Hall at 60. 60 looking for 61. 61 do we have? 61. It is spectacular for the two ounce Libertad. Libertad. Face reveal. Face reveal. The glory. Last item of the night for this two ouncer. Aaron at 61. We have Aaron at 61. Looking for 62. For the two ounce Libertad mintage of under 3,000 for this two ounce proof from 2019. We have Dizzy at 65. 65 looking for 66. 65 looking for 66. We have Clipper Hall at 70. 70 looking for 71. We have a battle royale for the final item of the night. Item number 25 is the two ounce proof Libertad from 2019. We have Dizzy at 72 now. Dizzy at 72, looking for 73, 73. Do we have 73? We have Rita at 73. Rita bidding $732. Thank you so much for the bid, Rita. <laughs> now we have Rita at 73. I know that was an error, Rita. Rita at 73. Unless... You wanted to retract the... Okay, so yes, we do have Rita at 73. Dizzy coming back at 75. Dizzy at 75, looking for 76. 76, do we have 76? This is the final item of the night. We have Dizzy at 75 for the two-ounce 2019 proof Libertad. 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 We have Rita at 76. Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go. What a way to end the stream. This is the final item of the night. Rita at 76. Looking for 77. What's going on, TG? TG is back. Rita at 76. Looking for 77. Going once. Going so twice now we have George Kimmel getting in on the action. George at 77 with the snipe. 77 looking for 78. 78. Do we have 78 for the 2019 two ounce proof Libertad? Libertad. Libertad. It is glorious, this coin. We have George at 77 going one. Going twice now. And Rosa with the snipe. Rosa coming back in the mix. We have Rosa at 79, just edging out Rita. Rosa, at, uh, Rosa retracted her bid. So we will go with Rita at 78. We have Rita at 78, looking for 79, 79. Do we have 79? Rita at 78, looking for 79 for the two ounce proof Lieber tab from 2019. Final item of the night. Going once. Going twice now. We have Rita at $78. For the 2019 two ounce proof Libertad. All in. All out. Last call. And so. To Rita for $78. Rita, that is a epic steal. Congratulations, Rita. Very good deal on that. And there you have it for $78, Rita. And we will add that to your wallet, Rita. 
How about that? Incredible. Incredible. Hmm. All right, let's take a look here. So, guys, for those that do not know, once again, my next stream, that was a two-ouncer, Rosa. Absolutely. A two-ounce proof Libre tab from 2019. We will be having the Soccer Plot the Jackpot live stream this upcoming Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. I do have four boxes available if anyone does want to donate for Rose. And uh, I am hoping that we can find silver. I am looking forward to this hunt, guys. For those that do not know, it has been a while. I believe my, my branch has been closed for about two weeks. So to have them reopen was a breath of fresh air. So we have four boxes available for Tuesday night stream. Every $10 donation receives one entry into the soccer plot, the jackpot. And the more donations received, the bigger the jackpot grows. We have reached 12 jackpot items on a few streams now. And I am excited and I cannot wait. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all there if you guys can make it. So, guys, uh, my next auction, however, may be next Friday. If I cannot find a way to uh, dump the coinage after the coin roll hunt, then I will be left with no alternative but to do an auction. But I have been doing an auction and a coin roll hunt every week. So one in one. So uh, just stay tuned for that, guys. A uh, short sure thing, TG. I will email you. So if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask me. We have George says, what's my total for tonight? All right, George, your total is $7,000. <laughs> All right, so you have $17, George. $17 for the Proof 69 Deep Cam uh, Eisenhower. Scott Jarvis says, I have a giveaway coming soon. We'll make a video on it. When the prizes come in, going to have a 2020 WMS69 for the first and more. So keep a lookout. So check out Scott Jarvie. That is awesome. Uh, so the sticker that you have in your wallet is the uh, is the vintage uh, coin uh, safety deposit box sticker. So uh, it is the third design. So that's the one that you have, and that's the one that you will be receiving. So if, if you guys have any further questions, you can email me at sockaplapaNY at gmail.com. And guys, I am looking forward to seeing you all Tuesday night. Have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Be safe and stay healthy. Take care, everybody.